Yeah. I mean, I think I've done a pretty good job of yeah, Min Min. You know, explaining Min Min's game plan without showing any hints of bias. Me, me personally, if you want the unfiltered uh, version of what I think of Min Min, I think it's a very A plus B button mashy type of style. Uh, I find it to be uh, one of the most disgusting uh, play styles. Um, I think it's absolutely deplorable, and I believe that a discussion in regards to the ban of the character shall commence. Oh, um, that God. Said, though, that said, you're within a match of Min Min, thereby I will not show any bias and will instead say that the way in which Pokelam utilizes the arms is most extravagant and beautiful. Yeah. And in this case, you see a beautiful... The... Oh, that actually was beautiful. Oh, that actually was really good. Um... <laughs> that was actually kind of sick. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was actually really well done. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Wow, gr okay, great way to cover the jumps, uh, doing the zigzag to cover the jump, as well as the trogdor to cover the horizontal uh, positioning of Mario. Uh, you notice Kevin is trying to retreat the platform, but again, that zigzag, and now the trogdor, putting him out. Um, how long has it been? One minute? Yeah, uh, Pokemon making some really quick work here. Are we gonna finally see a stock? No, we're not. Actually, it wasn't even really at all close. <laughs> Especially on a stage like uh, Town and City, such a high ceiling. Ooh. I could Look grab. at my Pikachu over there with that neutral B to grab. Mm. Did she really just fall in between the water? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna clip that. <laughs> all right. So this is the benefit. So the arm just goes straight through Fireball. Um, so it's gonna be really hard for Mario Trunker, to get in. No! Um, oh, he, oh, Kevin is done. Um, <laughs> wow. You know, bias aside, I'm actually very impressed by this gameplay. Yeah. I must say, look, beautiful coverage on the jump. Great. This was the first kill I missed this, but you were like, this is elegant. Ooh, here it comes. Bleh, where are you going? I don't think he can uh, reflect that. I think this might be the falling through water. Uh, one, Or it could be another kill. Might be the next one. Yeah, it is. It's kill. the next kill. Yeah. All right, this is just her falling through the water. I just think that's uh, hilarious and tragic. Did you see that? <laughs> look, look, yeah. look. What? Yep. Uh, you hate to see it. Um. Uh, and there it is. So here we yep. are going into game two of the best of five winter semis. And uh, wonder where we're going next. I really want to see people please take Min Min to platform stages, I think. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know this character well enough to really, like, speak on much authority. Because, like, she likes having a roof over her head. She really does. Because then you can't come in with aerials when she's throwing stuff on the sides. Oh, God, it's so hard to counterpick her, actually. Okay, this is actually not that bad of a pick because PS2 being so huge, she actually covers less percentage of the stage. Because when we're Correct. talking about Min Min, we're talking about her overall percentage coverage of the literal landmass of the stage. So, yes. picking PS2 definitely minimizes that. Yes, and, and in regards to your question of Ooh. which stage does Min Min prefer... Oh! Yes. All right, taking off the top. Back, back to, to the question. Um, yes, having a large stage definitely benefits the opponent. Um, yeah, against Min, Min Yeah. Yes, yes, correct. Because you don't want to give Min Min so much room. Uh, so now we have Kavine with the advantage. Yeah, this is this is actually a really good pitch. Uh, position to be in because like once uh, you have like a stock lead you're forcing them to go for the uh, to put them uh, to position you in their win condition uh, and you basically control the pace you don't have to like be pushing too hard as long as you're not accidentally giving them advantage like 
So what happened there was when he got hit by, uh, he tried to edge guard, did a spot dodge, got punished for it, got put off stage, and then got edge guarded. And that's kind of like where everything kind of fell apart and where Pokemon was able to capitalize. Um, Correct. Yeah, so now, once you're on even stock, it can. this is where things can change. This is where things can be scary. The fact that the percent lead is so big, however, you know, Kevin can still try to take his time uh, and, like, wait for something to, like, fall in his lap rather than try and force it to happen. You know, just do a nice, handy Mario up smash. There we go. And now, uh, this is a stronger lead uh, than before. Full stock and at low percent. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is where uh, characters do well against Min Min is when they're able to make her suffer when she's stuck on that platform. When she's sticking to it uh, and she tries to fall down, she can only recover horizontal distance. She can't really cover under her. Uh, I believe her down air, if I recall correctly, is a stall and fall. Am I correct in that or am I incorrect? Her down air? Down air. Isn't that like a stall fall or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she hovers for a bit, just like that, and then before she oh. falls. Yeah, there you go. So that's the only way she can really cover vertical distance uh, bl below her, of course. Yeah. And so being under her can actually give you a lot of benefits. Just be patient. You don't have to, like, like guess too hard sort of thing. Ooh, uh, that, that, was a ca that was catching a roll or a jump for sure. <laughs> So Kevin taking uh, game two pretty handedly, honestly. Yeah. Anti Mario. Yeah. Mario Maker make this W. Mm hmm. I want to see what happened. Oh, you I know? accidentally restarted it. Whoops. Yeah. Some may say turn that frown upside down. In Mario's case, turn that M upside down, you get the W. I I think he hit him the first frame. I don't know if whether it was a roll or uh, a roll or a jump. I can't tell. Regardless, it was vulnerability. <laughs> Dropping shield <laughs> for some reason. And it was like a... How was the DI on that? Ooh. You want to see it again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, away, away. Uh. That's straight up. I don't think he died it at all. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> all right, yeah. So this Hold was on. gonna be what my guess was the counter pick going to end up being, um, because my guess on the band is gonna probably be something like FD and Smashville, maybe. Because like she just covers so much, and Smashville I think is like a really good stage for her potentially. Anyway, yeah. So going to Kalos, um, this hmm, it has Battlefield Blast Zones, and the stage is as big as FD, but those platforms can help you kind of recover against her. Uh, yeah, really good use right there. You know, he tried to punch with the up smash, but Kevin was ready for it, and uh, yeah. Honestly, those platforms, while this can be like a good Min Min stage just because like you have a lot of freedom to like get away, uh, those platforms can do just the opposite against her when she's trying to do an edge guard because you can now like add to that layer of mix up when recovering. And, and right now, Kevin doing pretty pretty good. Uh, Mario, he's, he's, a, he's a quick little little scoundrel. Little rascal. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, almost went for a grab. Oh. Okay. Good stock lead here. Oh, thanks, Koopa, for the host, by the way. Uh, Shout out to Koopa and Jay. My mans. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so now Kevin with the stock lead here. Um. I was going to say decent-ish decent damage where he could probably still try and build something, but when you get hit by Megawatt off stage, yeah. yeah. Ooh, down throw to F smash. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was ever going to work, but ever. still, <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Gets the down through. Let's see the conversions. Nice up air to back air. Ooh! You know, we were going to be looking at that one again. Ooh, I think my mic broke as soon as I screamed. Oh my god. All good from here. Just the great awareness of positioning. Just knowing that Pokelam is going to want to keep <gasps> Yang in. Oh my god, that, that could have been nasty. Uh, he did fireball into falling up air. Nice. Up air, up air into Nair conversions. Well, wow. ooh. Tech Chase with F tilt, nice. Kevin might be able to take this game, but it, it, it's still not, nothing is, is solidified just yet. Great air stall with the cape. I, I, he's making great work of the of those platforms to just really kind of mess up what Min Min is looking for. Uh, uh, it's just, uh. Kavin is just constantly mixing up with like the jumps at platforms, the keeps. Yeah, take advantage of the yeah. fact that Mario is a he's a fast critter. Like he's also pretty tiny. Okay, finally gonna die off the side. Got a little bit too overzealous with those fireballs. That, he was just letting Min Min get too close. Uh, while trying, while sticking to the same game plan. Mm, correct. Oh, and, and uh, Trogdor's got that beefy arm right now, so extra strong for a few more seconds. I forget how long it lasts. Yeah, Kavin was kind of pushing forward a little bit too much. But now going back to the older game plan of retreating the platforms. Good keep stall. Okay, good holding shield. After doing the ledge, get up. Ooh, oh. Scary uh, air dodge, but was able to come back with that wall bounce. Great damage control. <laughs> oh, got hit by like the later hit of the Mega Watt and actually was able to let Pokelam bring it back. Yeah. yeah, the sheer brilliance of the Mega Watt there was. How you can't it, even describe it into like, words. He like ran into it or something, right? Like, yeah. That is meaty. Oh my lord. Okay. It, wait, question. So yeah. when Megawatt is out, it's a constant hitbox, correct? I guess so. so. <laughs> I, I think it's not a hitbox once it's retreating it back in. But okay. that, it, like it stays out for a moment before it begins to retract, and it's still active there. I see. Yeah, you, you saw like in that part where it kind of just like traveled and kind of stuck with them. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It was it was right here. I'm fighting against Vivi. Look at this. Boom. Sorry. All right. So on to game four. Uh, Kevin mm -hmm. opting to go back to PS2. Um, I could see that. Just good room. Yeah, it just you just want that extra space, you know, and like, it, yeah. I wonder what Pokemon bans were. Probably like Yoshi's and uh, I don't know. I don't know what else he banned. Versus Mario. I guess you, you could get rid of both triplets, but I mean, like, yeah. Battlefield doesn't really serve the same purpose. Regardless, anyway. Whoa! Down air. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I like the approach with the fireball. I'm not quite getting it though. Nice, catching the jump from the ledge. Ooh, oh god. Both of them whiffing, but in very scary and very like understandable situations. But uh, Kevin gonna fall onto Min Min's la uh, shield and eat an up smash. Oh no, got a throw, so the so the beefy arm is out now. Ah. 
All right, look at all this rage here. It's really scary. Uh, things aren't really looking good for Kavine right now. And, and that's the thing, when you have to deal with Min Min when you're stuck behind, like you need to make something happen. She is more than happy to play the slow game. Look at my wiggly waggly arms. And the sad thing is, there's probably even more defensive options that Pokemon can take. Like, like the up smash reflecting the Thunderbolt, like that in of itself is a huge deal. Because now you're losing one of your main approaches, which was already hurt by the fact that Mimin's arm already just goes through the Fireball. So it's it's just a tragedy overall. But once again, it's extravagant and it's beautiful, so I won't complain. Um, right here. Uh... Good falling up there. Let's see if we can get a conversion. Goes oh. for the nair. Oh, gets the oh. gets gets a conversion. Wasn't able to get enough height to kill off the top, but that's some big damage. That might be what puts him back in the game. If he's able to yes, uh, kind of break through these defenses, let's see what happens. Got an edge guard. That's ooh. All right, great anti edge guard with the ram ram. Knowing that he would have to run off Nair, that's very, uh, like, a uh, very textbook kind of, like, anti-tether recovery uh, tech right there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, gets the grab. Gonna throw the down throw. Thank you, Kalu. Thank you for the fall. Um, oh, okay. I was expecting a finisher punish. Didn't get it. Oof, okay, stall with the recovery, well done. Good shield. Just not being able to make it back. Alright, the last hit of the down air almost doing it for him, but not yet. Uh well, he's just not able to get this kill. It's always the Ooh. most difficult thing in Smash Brothers, but finally gonna get it uh, out of that down air into back air. All right, Ugh. all right. Being very careful with those uh, platform sharks, not to go too high and actually end up uh, overextending, getting hit by that up smash out of shield that he was just waiting for. Get out of here! Oh my god! No, oh, Pokemon is looking oh. for one thing, and it is disgusting. Um, here we go. All right, that's gonna be some good damage. damage. And he's got rage. That. Ooh. Rage. All right. Ooh, catches the roll. Oh, the oh man, Kevin. Oh. Kevin's making the comeback, and he does. Good oh. catch on the DIY. All right, Kevin. All right. Zam. That was the sheer brilliance. All right. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by that. Mm. Look at this perfect read. All right. Sees air dodge. Air dodge. Runs. And that's it. That was really, that was uh, some fast paced stuff right there. Mm -mm. So sick. Clean stock uh, by Kevin. Bringing this to a game five. So now, game five, is Pokemon going to commit to the Min Min? I mean, he's been doing well. Uh, but, like, I want to see what happened. Like, will we see the villager, you know? Man, Kevin made a three-stock comeback. Oh, God. I think he gets the kill here. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Back, yeah. And, yeah, the villager is coming out. Oh, wow. That was brilliant. Imagine Kevin taking game five. Against the village. Oh, mm -hmm. and we're going to what is usually Mario's kind of counter pick because of uh, the normal ceiling uh, that this has as opposed to Battlefield. But Pokemon starting off with some heavy, heavy combos, heavy strings, heavy damage. Get out of here. It's over. It's over. Oh my. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. All right, so now Kevin had a full stock deficit. Uh, what can he do to kind of bring this back? Like, you know, as mentioned before, like Mario is kind of famous uh, or infamously known on this stage. 
uh, because of the low platform and the extension he gets with the up air. So if he's able to get a situation where he's able to land that, he could definitely seal this up real quick. Although I don't think he can do it at this high percentage. You would have to do it on the next stock. So you'd have to first take this stock and then be able to try and turn it around there. Oh my god, keep your jump! I think, I think the the cannonball just covers the entire wall for Yoshi's. That's yeah. probably why Pokemon picked it. Yeah, you can't go under the stage, so there's like uh, just one big hitbox area. But the 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 um, the bowling ball does have peanut priority, so if you do clank with it, I, I believe that you'll uh, just you'll disable the hitbox. I'm like pretty sure about that. So you have to do it in a way where uh, you make the hitbox come out before a hit is in. Oh man, this is looking uh, pretty scary for Kavian right now. Still rising down air to potentially get the kill here. Ooh, the the gyroid slowed down uh, sooner than Pokemon anticipated because he he knew that he was going to reflect it so he could try and pocket it, but because it slowed down, it put him out of reach and then was able. Uh, just kind of hit a hit there. Oh, he's got the axe. That could kill at the ledge with this. Oh, but forward air is going to do it anyway. We can get another hit in. Eventually convert into a lot of damage. Oh, by the way, it doesn't have enough priority. I was mis misremembering. Anyway, yeah, you just have to hit it with a strong enough move, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, the percents are still low enough where if Mario is able to get uh, one of his throw combos, could try to extend it to land on a platform, but that might be too tall an order with the positioning that Pokelam is going for right now. He's staying out of center. Oh, that's scary. It's one of the few times staying out of center is like a good idea. So if you were to get grab ball in center, the extension happens. But if you're under the platform at the time, then you can try and DI away, kind of di uh, mitigating that sort of threat. <laughs> and it's up here. Ooh, kind of goes for like a hail mary version of it, where it's like I kind of, kind of just reaching the mic. It happened. Almost got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kevin actually, uh, you know, with Pokemon's extremely strong start, Kevin's actually making some pretty good headway. It, it, it's scary because, like, this is obviously this Pokemon's main, so it's his most learned character. Um, there's a lot of tricks, and the fact that this is Kevin's first game versus Villager, while this is Pokemon's fifth game versus Mario. So. You kind of are already uh, aware of some of the player habits and roots uh, combined with that character, which can be scary. Like right now, they're kind of acting like they're in a uh, last hit situation, but uh, Pokemon has a whole stock in the reserves. <coughs> Back nice not going to be enough. Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can see our hit coming out, potentially a rising down here. All right. Good jumps overall. Not allowing Pokemon to land another hit. That said, though, gets that forward air. Ooh, too much pressure. Great, great Just job keep keeping stuff. keeping his jump and able to defuse the forward air with the fireball. Wow. Oh god. Oh, keeping nice. his jump. Good stuff. Oh, good. Good reflection. <laughs> Pokemon, I'm struggling to water this plant that's not going anywhere. No water? Okay, Mario waters the tree for him. Uh... <gasps> Alright, finally gonna take the stock with the okay. reflected gyroid killing Pokelam off the top, but at okay. 150 damage! Oh, this is where Rage Mario, this is Rage Mario, get the grab! This is Rage Mario. Bias, bias, bias. I'm rooting for the upset. I think it would be fun. Uh... It'd be hilarious. Oh no, off stage, this could be it, this could be over. Oh Nice, no. great, uh... Oh dear! Great recovery from the ledge. Oh boy! Oh Keeping my days! Oh boy! This is Pardon getting. Pardon my language. This is getting pretty scary. Oh uh, back here! Pokemon really hasn't been able to land anything like super solid right now, and Kevin actually, you know, nope, never mind. He was making some good headway, but he was knocking on death's door the entire time. Pokemon going to advance three-two over Kevin. Game five. 
Uh, it's, that is some really competitive stuff. And the fact that <clears throat> Pokemon had five games to learn Mar uh, Kevin's Mario, where Kevin had one game to learn uh, Pokemon's Villager. Uh, just really good play, really solid stuff. This first, this first stock, it, it it was beginning to get close to the wire. If that first stock hadn't have happened, we may have seen a different result. But regardless, you know, Pokemon started off super strong and uh, was able to really just uh, reap the benefits from that initial lead. That was a good set. Great play by both players. Really entertaining stuff. Um, even even the Min Min matches, like there was just so much like you, there was a lot of like cerebral gameplay happening right there, and it was just really really entertaining to watch. So good stuff to both players. And uh, yeah, uh, Pokemon going to be moving on to winners finals.